Hello, welcome back to Conan Exiles. As you can tell, I've been quite busy here. I made myself a little hovel and a flotsam, which is the building set that you get with the Island Scepter. Let's put this down. There's nothing in here to bother us. There is unfortunately quite a lot out here to bother us. I didn't realize that these monitor lizards would be aggroed quite so easily. I thought if I stayed on this side of the water, they wouldn't come after me, but I keep aggroing them all the time. And there's a couple of panthers over there. There's actually two panthers. You can just see one there. But there's another one hiding in those bushes. And they keep bothering me too. It's all rather unfortunate. Uh, good news is that we finally brewed up a horse. A rather dopey looking horse. But, I mean, this one does seem to look quite dopey. But all the horses look the same, surely. You know, aside from the coloration. So perhaps it's just my imagination. <laughs> I don't know. But he looks a little bit simple. Um, anyway, what we're going to do next, because I'm now at level 20, and at level 20 I can buy, um, do, 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 I can buy, what's it called, Novice Saddle Maker, I think it is, there it is, so I've got 27 points available, um, I'm at level 20, so I can buy this, and this costs 5, so let's buy Novice Saddle Maker, which now means that I can make myself a little saddle bench, saddler's bench rather, well, let's do that inside, because we've got quite a few benches in there already. We'll find space for a saddler. This is my living quarters here. And there's no connection to upstairs, so I have to go around the side. I've just thrown this together. I, I don't know if I'll keep it or not. And I've got, right, blacksmith. And upstairs got an armourer. But down here, we shall try and put in a saddler's... Or should we... Oh, let's put the saddler in here. Yeah, I've got tanning station and the um, armor's bench. So let's see what we need for a saddler's thingy. Uh, carpentry. Let's go smithing. Is it smithing? Tanners. Armor's. Is it arm? Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll find it in a second. Bear with me. Okay, so it was under companions. And I need, oh, God almighty, I need 50 shape wood. 50 twine and 50 leather. And I've got everything I need aside from the bloody shape wood. Okay, what do I need for a carpenter's bench then? Let's do that. Why not? Um, carpentry. Right, I need... Right, lots of wood, lots of stone. Okay, let's make that then. Right, so here's the carpenter's bench. I'll just squeeze it into that corner. That fits quite well, I think, doesn't it? Good. Let's get it making some shaped wood. Ah, oh, going to need more than that, aren't I? Um, I can craft six. Oh, bloody hell. I need 50 of those. Oh, dear me. Okay, more wood. Okay, well, I think we've got everything we need. We've got lots of wood here. That's still cooking away. So that's shaped wood. And we needed twine, didn't we? Lots of twine here armor's bench and we have got leather I need 50 of those um ooh, right we're gonna put it there weren't we let's put it there let's go back oh, it, okay it's downstairs isn't it there we go companions Santa's work table thank you it's quite small I sent you up there Nice! And then we make a saddle with you. It's a nice cheap saddle. There we go. All right, okay. More leather, more twine. That's okay. We got iron. Ah, uh, how much leather? Okay, not that much leather. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's get the iron. We know where the iron is. Oh, I'll have to go and get some more hide. But also, before I do anything else, I really need to make myself come up some iron tools because I've just been schlepping about with my stone stuff all this time and not really thought about it. Ah, uh, that's iron. Where am I? I need no, like, sticks and iron bars. Okay, right, we got that, I know. So let's go and get some iron bars because we got a little smelter over there. I've been quite busy with the old iron. 
Okay, let's see what we got then. What have we got? We have got 207. Very nice. Can we chuck anything in there? No. Right, let's go back. Right, so we've got the iron in there and the sticks. So we'll get ourselves a hatchet and the iron pick and an iron sickle that'd be really useful and a skinning knife that's used up a lot of our resources unfortunately so what i will do i will spend a bit more time getting some more iron and getting some more leather together and there's lots of iron stone around here so that's not going to be hard there we go there's a journey step and we've got some antelopes around here not here here but close by um, yeah, I'll go and slaughter a few of those, get some leather. Right, I think we've got everything we need. And we wanted, because I've forgotten already. Right, 20 twine, 68 iron, 75 leather. So I've got my iron here. Put that in. Got the twine. A little bit of leather I got out the armourer's bench. And there should be plenty in here now. Good. Get you going. I have to think of a name for the horse next. Our jobs never end. Oh, you're going to take forever doing that. He is, isn't he? He's going to take for absolutely ever. Uh, well, let's put that down. And let's go and get the horse out. Say hello. Actually, we know what he's going to be called, don't we? He's going to be called Concord. That's traditionally what I call my horses. The first one, anyway. Uh, yeah, let's grab you, Concord. Come on. Don't be shy. Put you down here, away from the horrible animals. We don't get any of the monitor lizards down here, so we should be safe for the time being. And there we go. Obtain an animal companion. And obtain a mount. Brilliant, two steps in one. He looks better outside, doesn't he? He looks much more noble. Okay. Right, well, let's give you a name. <laughs> Straight off. Um, open inventory, isn't it? Let's call you Concord. Uh, right. Yeah, for some reason, it's in the instant menu there. How strange. There we go. Excellent. And he needs some... What? Oh, he likes um, oats, it seems. Not oats. Hops. He's got loads of hops here. And I have got a very nice sickle now. So I don't have to scrabble about like a peasant to pick this stuff. Look at that. Superb. The next step after getting a saddle for the horse is to ride round and see if our thrall has cooked up. Because we left a thrall cooking on a stove, so to speak. And he's going to help us find a sorcerer who's got a map. So I'm quite looking forward to that. And once we've got the sorcerer's map, we can find out where Curex's lair was on the Isle of Sipta. And then go and steal his stuff. But before I do that, I really ought to get a better weapon for myself. What can I make here? Uh, Aquilonian Pike. Is that good? None of these seem very good at all. Argosy and sword. Short sword. What's the best I can make with what I've got? It looks like it's about damage 20, doesn't it? I'm not doing this very scientifically. I'm just flicking about. Um, okay, two-handed I don't want. That looks nice. Blood letter. 30 iron. That's one-handed, isn't it? Okay, well, we've got iron left over from upstairs, I'm sure. We've got loads of iron in here. There's the saddle. Brilliant. That and that. Uh, I ought to make myself some armour, but I haven't got the patience. I will do that later on. Brilliant. Excellent. I'm <laughs> very pleased. The thing is, in my last playthrough, I was so used to having transportery stones and a horse that I've forgotten how hard it is running around the place. It does take it out of you, especially when you've got virtually no stamina. It was getting quite irritating. So having a horse is going to be a godsend, frankly. Okay, just a few more moments. 
Excellent, there we go. Let's take that. I can't make a shield over here, can I? No, I've got to do that on the armourer's bench, I think. I'll do that later on. I've got a wooden shield. That'll last me. Oh, actually, I'd better get rid of some of my crap. Right, I'll be outside in a second. Right, that's us done. Let's go and find oh. our thrall. Super. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's so good being back on a horse. Unfortunately, I'd forgotten about this, hadn't I? I was about to scamper off the edge of that. Okay. Let's get off the horse. Jump down here. We can outrun the rhinos quite easily now, I would have thought. Come on. Where are you, Concord? Come on, Concord. There you go. There we go. We didn't have to worry about these rotten rhinos anymore. I've just got to remember where I left my thrall, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not catching anyone. I'm quite hungry, unfortunately. So I've got to stop somewhere and get some food down me, I think. I'm not sure how much I've got on me. Are they still coming? Oh, he's still coming. Damnation. Oh, he's levelled up twice. Damn. Right, let's slow down a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. Is he still coming? No, he's given up. How much food have I got? I've got the gruel and the insects. That's feral flesh. I'll cook that up at some point. Um, I do have a cook fire next to my thrall, so we can cook it up there. Yeah, my thrall is, from memory, just over here, I think. Yeah, more or less there. So I'll ride round and we'll pick up our guy. Because I think he should have cooked up by now. I certainly got him cooking before the horse. And he and the horse seem to be taking the same amount of time. Well, here we are. Right, the wheel has stopped turning, so he might run out of food, or he might be finished. Ah. Right, that sound is the snake that lives over there. Hopefully you're cooked up. He is! He's only an archer, but he's a level 3 um, cursed. And the cursed are the strongest, well, one of the strongest bunch on the island. Here he is. It's a little Mohican. Super. Have you got any decent weapons on you? So he's got oh, an iron broadsword. Is that it? Well, that's health damage 16. I picked up a sword. See, that's that long sword is 27, so I'll give you that. Yeah, that long sword I stole from someone. I can't remember who. And he also needs some gruel inside him. So let's get you that. Um, here we go. Good. Well, what we'll do, we'll spend a few moments just sort of levelling you up somewhat. We won't go crazy. Because the next thing I want him to do is to go and knock one of his replacements on the head. Because that's where we got him in the last episode. He was that guy standing there. So I want another one boiling up. Oh, actually, no. What we'll do, we won't get another accursed for the time being. I will kidnap a, a few Stygians, though. I think the Stygians will be a bit quicker. And you need to be following me. But what we'll do, we'll go back here. And we'll get him to kill off a bit of wildlife. Oh, here we go. So this is the big storm in the centre of the island kicking off here. The maelstrom. It won't affect us here. But they've been really regular while I've been here, I must say. Had loads and loads of maelstroms. There you go. He's doing his business. Come on. One more. Excellent. Up nicely. Good, good, good. Let's get my gear together. These lacunas are quite good for levelling up. They're quite vicious. So you're following. That's it. Come and get it. No, not with a bow and arrow. I'm going to have to take that off him. I'm going to have to take that off you, aren't I? <laughs> He's going to bite me in a minute. Oh, you're very bad. Oh, bloody hell. Am I going to have to kill him myself? <laughs> Try and get him. Blah. Right, I've gained 
to another level. We're both doing very well, I'm sure. Um, I will chop him up, this guy, and follow his levels up. Good. I'll get the hatchet going. Because I need some meat out of this person. Come on, a bit of meat. I right, got some feral flesh. Right, let's go and get some grub. Right, here's our fire. You can see the maelstrom there. It's quite a good view, isn't it? Damn. So that is all happening in the centre of the island, around this central tower here. And now the island is infested with ghastly monsters, so we don't really want to visit there anytime soon. Anyway, let's get some food cooking up. We're all done. Let's run up here. What we want to do next, before we do anything else, is attack some settlements and kill sorcerers. Because we're all about the vicious violence directed against magicians. And there is a sorcerer I know at this Stygian camp that we rode past, more or less. So if we go back down the coast the way we came, and then where we met the rhinos, we have to turn right. So that's where we'll go now. Okay, well, we're coming up to a settlement. This isn't the one I was talking about. But what we can do is attack it and get some more resources, because there's usually quite a lot of pinchable stuff in here. And killing a few more Stygians will bump up our friend's points. Is that anything? Just a rock, isn't it? Damn. That looked like it would have been something, but never mind. So there's only a few, you know, on the on the land here. So they should be fairly easy to take down. So let's get in there. Are we all all present and correct. Your level was. Oh, he's only level two. I thought it was better than that. Okay. Let's give it a go. Right, there's three here. Is it three or four? Right, dagger person there. Quite tough. Right, I've got another person on me. Oh, a bloody bow and arrow. Oh, God almighty. Okay. Let's just run away. <laughs> Let's just run. I forgot about the bow and arrow. Stupid twit. Oh, look at all this. They're all after me. Can I just get on you? Can I get on you? Mount. Oh, mount. Get on there. Commander follower. <laughs> I ordered him to bugger off quickly. But well, we're going to go over here. We're going to go over here. I'm so used to being a level 60 player, you see. I forget how weak I am. Right, let's come down. Here he comes. I'm going to take the bow and arrow off you. Yep, taking it away. Right, now we'll go back. Now we will go back. Hop. Try that again. Yeah, they quite often have some useful stuff lying about. So I do want to steal what I can. In particular, I just want to see if they've got any sort of um, clothing or bits and pieces like that. It'd be quite handy. There we go. There we go. In the name of Set. Right, so they swapped out, so we don't have a dagger lady anymore. Right, we've just got Set two, well, two taskmasters. Keep them busy. Set will glory in your keep them busy. Set will glory in your <laughs> well, that guy's a, a named man. Damn. As the snake strikes, so I wonder who you were. Look at this fight. In again. Right, I'm taking the damage. Right, let's let them get on with it. Let's go around here. See what's in this crate. Uh, I'll take all that. Nothing I really want. There's you just standing there. You're not a sorcerer, are you? No, he's not. There is a. Oh, okay. Okay. There is a crate in there I want to have a look at. Damn, look at his health. That's ridiculous. Okay, R run away. Run away. He's going to die. Bloody hell. Come on, return. Come away. Come away, cursed archer. Come away. Oh, this is stupid. 
Again, I'm so used to giving my guys really good armor straight off the bat. Okay, stop this. What happened then? Damn it, what a fiasco. What a fiasco. That's it, come up. We're right away. Ah, uh, I'm wondering whether I ought to go back and make some armor. Because we're not doing very well without it, are we? You're not doing very well at all. What we can do though first is go and say hello to the Kitan caravan here. So I've got a skull to drop off. And then, yeah, we'll think about armor then, but look at this. Damn. He's not really leveled up at all either. I would have expected, oh, I suppose he only levels up on kills really, doesn't he? I wonder if it's worth us taking a rhino down. I wonder if that would help. Anyway, let's drop off a skull. Big old Kitan caravan here. Biggest one I've seen. There we go. I've got all this stuff. Yeah. Right, let's go back. We'll make some armor. And then we'll come out again. Ooh. Dare we take down a rhino? I don't think we do dare, to be honest with you. What we might do is attack the panthers and monitor lizards around the base. Level him up that way. So we just got to get around here. So they are very, very stroppy, the rhinos. Over here. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. And we've got to get away from here before the rhinos start attacking our cursed guy, because they will just kill him outright, I'm pretty sure. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, this is awful. Yeah, okay. Come on. Let's try that again. Try that again. Come away from the rhinos. Bloody hell, I don't believe it. I... Look, they, they, they're slaughtering him down there. Come on. He's going to die. He's going to get killed. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, come on. Drop, drop. Come back. Return. Come on. Just... Okay, I think we're okay. Phewee. Oh, that guy took ages to cook up. I would really, really have been very cross if he just dropped dead. You're coming. Did he kill those rhinos? He couldn't have done. I can't even see him. Okay, let's go up here. Well, we're back home. We are back home. Where's our guy? Where's he? He didn't die. Well, he's still being called. Jeez. There he comes. Here he comes. What sort of stage is he in? You're going to come up. There he is. Oh, look, full health. Blimey. I thought we'd be on his last legs. <laughs> oh, and the horse as well. There we go. Right, let's stand you guarding there. All oh, right, walkable floors. You stand guard there then. Good. Right, let's get you some armor. Right, well, that took forever. Absolutely ever. Boop. Down we go. So you're in Namidian oh. stuff. This is Namidian scout arm, I think. Is it scouts or something else? No, infantry. So this is all medium armor. That's 169. And I went for a boring choice, I'm afraid. This is just the standard um, sort of medium armor. But I still really enjoy this back in the day. So I'm having it again. Where are my boots? Did I, did I not make myself boots? These boots, the Relic Hunter boots, I don't want them. They look a bit stupid. 
Alright, equip a piece of light armor, which is the boots. Um, okay, we'll also take off the helmet for the time being. <laughs> it's just for the sake of vanity, I think. Um, yeah, let's go and attack some animals. Just bring his, uh, his points up a little bit. Because these monitor lizards seem to do quite well for, for XP. Like, fine one. Oh, they're a bit dozy. They're poisonous, though. If they bite you, you know about it. Die, outsider. There you go. Well, you see, you've bitten me and poisoned me. We can sort you out. Oh, he died hard. He died hard. Let's go and do the Panthers next. They're just up here. Yeah, this armor looks a bit heavy compared to what I'm used to. Which is some rather skimpy armor called the Guardian armor from the Debauches of Deketo DLC. It's very fetching, I must say. Yep. Come on, are you going to level up now? Right, I've gained a level. Have you gained any levels whatsoever? Right, he's almost up to three. He's quite slow. I don't understand it. There we go. There we go. There's another one in here. Where is he? Oh! Gear chuck. Come on. Right, once we've done this, we'll attack some rhinos. But he's still not there, is he? He's still not there. He's just on the brink. <laughs> He's just on the brink. Oh, I forgot about the horse, so I'd set him guarding. Let's get him following. You can benefit from this XP too. Uh, you follow us. There's more monitors around here. Where are they? Oh, come on, this place is crawling with them yesterday. Damn it. Well, there's just the one. Have a drink. I can't believe I killed them all. They just buggered off. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on there. The other thing we could do is go and visit the first men who live just down here. I'm sure we could tempt one of them out. There we go. If we try and get one of them out for a fight and I'm sure that'll uh, get him up to three at least perhaps even four uh, let's jump down so I'm not sure we're strong enough for rhinos yet not sure we're strong enough but the entrance should be around here there we go Right, there's a little guy. Let's see. Bring him over here. Bring him over here. Come on, I, I want him away from the main settlement. So his friends don't join in. Okay, this is going to have to do, isn't it? God, he's tough as old boots, this one. Troubled the archers, they keep backing off. Oh, we're going to have to go in there, aren't we? We're just going to have to chance it. I don't want that big one joining in. <laughs> Slowly going down. Oh, I hear thundering. Is that big one coming round? Oh, uh, yeah. Jeez, come on. Yeah, the first men are either people like this, these huge misshapen giants. Right, are you gonna... Did you just drop... Was that it? Just a bit of rock? Oh, blimey. I thought we might have got something useful out of them. So there's a big guy. I think they are quite a handful from memory. Then again, let's get him over. Oh god, I can't miss him, surely. There we go. 
Come over here. Let's get the sword up. Hey, yup. Oh, he's going down fairly easily, isn't he? Right, he, he did some damage then, though. <laughs> he did some damage to me. Up the bum. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. I, I feel bad taking these ones down. They're not very bright, I feel. But they pack a wallop. If they get you in the wrong spot. Yeah, he's not doing anything, is he? Look at this. Oh, I've gained a level. Oh, we had some silver on him. I suppose that's all right. Oh, and you've leveled up at last. Uh, come on, where are you? Come away. Come away. You are right level four and a bit. Good. Okay, well, let's go down. And we'll try and whack a sorcerer. That's been my sole object, more or less, since starting this. Okay, we can do this in style, can't we? Good on you, sir. Oh, off the edge, please. Round and round. That's it. Now if he turn right, come to this camp. Hey, oh. So what we'll do is aggro these guards outside. Because the sorcerer we want is just around here. Just by those cages. But we can't get to him without attacking these people. So let's do that. He's going for the horse, is he? Sometimes useful. Is he boxed in? Okay, well, that's not good. Come away from the horse, please. No, he's slaughtering the horse there. Come over. See, I don't think Conkle could get away. Look at his, his health is half down. Jeez. Right, he's suffering. Leave him alone, Jesus Christ. I'm going to kill you. Oh, not him. Get this one. That's it. Chop and chop. Come out again. Hiding behind the bush. That's it. You can't pick on me. Oh, damn. Right, I'm quite worried about Conqueror. I can't see him. Right, this fight is a bit confusing, isn't it? Oh, she's almost down. Oh, this is yeah, she's bugged out. Luckily, I'm out of stamina, just at the wrong point. There we go. Uh -huh. You had what? Oh, I've got some food, a bit of iron. It's all very handy. Concord is recovering. Oh, right, okay, attack the wrong guy. Well, I've got to just back off and get some healing down me. Oh, there's me healing. Outsider. Oh! Monk, look, he's just idiot. Come on! Bloody hell! Can you just attack him, please? Is it because they're on the edge? They get a bit confused and worried. Oh, he's down. He is down. And you had what? Come on! I s you had something there. I got a bowl. But I'll take it all. Look at the state of me. Alright, I wasn't wearing my helmet, was I? Jesus Christ. Right, so these guys are okay, the Kitans. They're not going to bother us. What we can try and do... Oh, that's the Jailer. There's a Sorcerer behind him. Right, the Jailer's coming. The Jailers are bizarrely quite weak from memory. Okay, price. okay. <laughs> I thought, oh, get away from me. 
They're not very powerful, the jailers. I swear. Oh, look, he's going down very easily. Get you. There we go, there we go, there we go. And he'll drop a key, hopefully. Yeah, and a little sword as well. So if we come up here, we should be able to just aggro this sorcerer. There he is, look. Come on, over here. Come on, give us a map, you little git. Bleed. Come on. I need a better shield. And next time, I think we need to... Oops, stop that. Next time, we need to come down that path, I think. Uh, I think we might be able to avoid the guards on the gate using that path. There we go, there we go. Come on, give us a map. Give us a map. Give us a map. Oh, he's down, he's down. What you got, what you got? Go, take it. I was stunned to crouch. Did you give me a map? Spell page. Scout report, which we had before, I think. Um, and then the cloth satchel was just a power. Oh no. Dead sorcerer's map. Excellent. Right, let's use that. Good grief. Where's this? Where on earth is that? Oh, blimey. I have no idea. Um, let's see if we can steal stuff. Right, I've got some captives in here. Ah, uh, what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do... Come out. I'm going to set my guy. Come on. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're going to stand guard here. And I'm going to go back and rescue one of those people. Ah, oh, right. Hopefully no one will respawn. Right, who are you? Uh, oh, well, you'll do. I don't know what you are. No, no don't do that. Stop it. Okay. Where is she going? I want you to follow me. Come on. Curse fighter... All oh, right, she's she's an accursed fighter. Excellent, brilliant. I've got another one. Oh, that's really quick. Damn, I thought that you just had quite low-level thralls in these places. That's really nice. Excellent. Oh, I'm really pleased about that. Jeez. Um, right, let's get up here. We'll get her home, and then I'll come back for our other guy, and then we'll just take things from there. I don't believe it, I've got a home, and she has got a star metal great sword. Health damage 56. How come she's got a massive great sword, and my guy had virtually nothing? Anyway, I'll go back and get our other guy, and then we'll look at this map again. There we go, everyone back safe and sound, more or less. Excellent. Let's take his helmet off. I'm pleased about that, because every other time I've rescued a prisoner, they tended to be really quite low-level artisans and really not worth having, <laughs> frankly. But what we'll do in the next episode is go and have a look at this damn map, see where that's leading us, because that... Ah, oh, is that on the... That's on the Northern Island, definitely. Where is that? I think that might be up here. Is it there? That's it, isn't it? That's definitely it. Okay, so that's the job for the next episode. We go up there, find the Sorcerer's Lair, the Lair of Kurak, go and steal a Tome of Kurak, and some various recipes, and then we can start our life in sorcery. So anyway, hope you enjoy this episode, hope you'll join me for the next one, and until I see you again, I shall say goodnight. Okay then, cheerio!